Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about 5 reasons why you should be investing in the stock market. But before we get into that, my name is Carter and in this channel I make videos about all things personal growth, finance and passive income, including things such as how to grow an Instagram account and promote your small business online. So if this type of content interests you, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, it is free and I would greatly appreciate it. Now let's get into today's video. So the first reason why you should be investing in the stock market is inflation. Inflation is a natural process that occurs whenever more currency is added in the circulation. To meet this influx of currency, the price of goods and services has to increase in order to meet the new purchasing power of the money. What this means is that the value of money is dynamic. Whatever one dollar's worth today is not going to be the same as what it was worth in the past, nor is it the same as what it's going to be worth in the future. So for example, if I have this one dollar bill right now, y'all have a general idea of what this one dollar is worth because you can value it in goods and services. You know its relative purchasing power. However, in the past, this one dollar bill was worth a lot more, and in the future, it's going to be worth a lot less. With inflation rates between two to three percent annually, that dollar is going to lose two to three percent of its value every single year, meaning that in like 50 years, that dollar is going to be worth just a fraction of what it is today. So, generally speaking, you can say that this dollar is worth as much as it is right now as it's ever going to be. This is where the stock market comes into it. By putting your money in the stock market, you're essentially putting your money into the businesses which represent the prices of goods and services. Thus, your money is going to be moving along with inflation and it's going to be increasing at that rate. Now, this kind of ties into my next point as to why you should be investing in the stock market, and that is general growth over time. Now, what I mean by this is not just a numerical growth, rather, and also a growth in purchasing power. Remember how I mentioned that inflation rates are between 2 to 3 percent annually, the S&P 500, which is a major index in the stock market, increases at rates arguably between 6, 7, or even up to like 12 percent annually. Thus, if you're investing in the stock market, generally speaking, if you keep your money in large indexes, you're going to be beating inflation, which means you're growing at a rate higher than 2 to 3 percent, meaning that you're not just gaining money and you're keeping up with inflation, you're actually earning more purchasing power with your money by being invested in the stock market in the long run. Now for a disclaimer, it is absolutely possible to lose money in the stock market. I don't want to make that sound like if you put your money in the stock market, you're going to get instant gains, you're going to be inflation, it's going to be perfect. However, as for a general trend, if you look in the past on for really any major company or any large index of companies, you're going to see that the stock market is trending upwards. That is because the stock market is designed to trend upwards. It was created to help shareholders to be able to invest in companies to increase their value and increase the profits for everybody. Now, with that being said, it's not always going to happen with that. Supply and demand and different companies have different issues, but as a general trend, you're going to see a growth in the stock market, or at least we have in the past, and all future indicators point towards a general growth in the future. I keep using the term general growth because it's a general sloping upwards. You're going to have up days, you're going to have down days, and it's going to be very jagged. With that being said, the general trend is ultimately what matters, unless if you're doing very quick transactions such as day trading and stuff like that, but that's not what I'm referring to in this video. The type of investing I'm referring to is putting your money in the stock market and keeping it there for long periods of time, or investing in a company which you've done a ton of research on and you're not just making quick day trader moves hoping to get rich quick. So with that topic of financial security, that brings us to our third point as to why you should be investing in the stock market, and that is compounding dividends. Compounding dividends is essentially a godsend in the world of the stock market. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with what dividends are, essentially whenever a company makes profits, they can either reinvest those profits and increase the price of their shares, or they can use those profits to pay out dividends to their shareholders as a reward for thanking the investors for investing in their company, making their stock more desirable and more people likely to invest in their company. Now, a lot of the major companies, especially ones that have been around a while, do pay out dividends. You would have to check each stock individually to see what its rate of dividends are. But whenever these dividends are paid out, usually that's quarterly, the investor can choose to either keep the money for themselves or they can use that money in a dividend reinvestment plan to buy more shares of that same stock, meaning that they're going to be earning dividends on a larger principal the next quarter. That's going to start with this kind of snowball effect and you're going to see that over time the dividends buy more shares and with more shares you can get up a larger amount of dividends to buy even more shares and you're going to start growing your portfolio at an exponentially large rate. For this reason, time in the market is one of the most important things you can do, thus this should be motivating you that you should be investing in the stock market because you're going to have more time to collect those dividends and let them multiply over time. So the next reason why you should be investing in the stock market is diversifying your portfolio. 
This is extremely important. You don't want all of your money in cash. You don't want all of it in cryptocurrency, in precious metals, or in individual stocks. You want a little bit of everything because this will provide you with a much heavier layer of financial security. By investing in the stock market, specifically investing in mutual funds such as index funds and ETFs, you are able to diversify your portfolio immensely. By buying just one of these mutual funds, you are able to buy little slices of a ton of different companies. That means if one company just tanks it and goes down, you're going to have all those other companies to make up for those losses. And by diversifying your investments, you are able to keep up with the general trends. And remembering earlier in the video when I talked about the general growth of the stock market, this is how you can match those general trends. By investing in individual companies, yes, you're probably going to keep up with the trend, but it depends on the company and there's a much higher risk associated with this. Investing in a diverse portfolio can help mitigate those losses and increase your chances at following the growth patterns of the stock market. And the last reason that I present to y'all why you should be investing in the stock market is its passive income. Passive income, especially with more things moving online, is all the rage, but this is truly passive income. Once you invest in your stocks, it is now those companies' jobs to increase the price of the stocks. You have essentially given them their money and you're hoping in return that you're gonna get more money back. You are not responsible for anything except for that principal investment, meaning that while you're sleeping, there's an opportunity for you to be gaining money. You don't even have to look or manage your stocks at all, even though I wouldn't recommend not keeping up with the markets. But what I'm trying to say is that you don't have to put any extra effort in. You literally had the money anyway, now you can just put it in another place which can potentially make you money in the long term. The stock market is something that is truly a passive income source. It is not something like rental properties or making a YouTube channel or running Instagram accounts, something like that which yes can be deemed passive income but it takes a lot of work up front and a lot of continual maintenance. Once you invest your principal amount, Boom. you're done. There it is. Now it's the company's job to make you that passive income. So there you guys have it. Those are my five reasons as to why y'all should be investing in the stock market. Now as a disclaimer, I mentioned this early in the video, but it is very possible to lose money in the stock market, especially if you don't know what you're doing. This video was made to be purely informational, maybe to motivate you to go check out your own financial situation, see if investing in the stock market is right for you. But of course, I would highly recommend it. Before this video is over, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. I love seeing viewers, especially from all across the world. A special shout out to Bruno in Peru for watching my video. I love seeing people from all across the world coming to my channel and watching my content. So if you too want to be shouted out, please be sure to like and leave a comment below. And I will be sure to do that in a future video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this has been helpful and informational. And I will see you guys in the next one.